Welcome to County Culinary Community. I'm Chef Scott Royce of Loyalist Culinary, and we're making this new video series. We're going to visit Prince Edward County producers. We're also going to cook some food together, and we're going to visit our community <laughs> partners and graduates at their workplaces here in Prince Edward County. Thanks for watching County Culinary Community. I'm Chef Scott Royce, and today I'm just outside of Cherry Valley with Zach and Luana Little John. Uh, we're on Little John Farm. I like to hear everybody's Prince Edward County story. How did you make your way here? What, what made that happen? We started to look at places that would check some of the boxes. Prince Edward County came up because it had both agriculture and tourism. We specialize in teaching people where their food comes from and how to make uh, responsible consumer choices. The whole idea of the business is to actually connect people and food. So it's to teach people where the food comes from. It's actually, it's a very wholesome experience what we try to create uh, and offer everybody. And um, we have been having great feedback because people are really being touched by what we are doing. Creation and curation are yeah. the two things that we really concentrate on. Yeah. So, um, and you know, you can't be just the sustainable growth model of people having a great experience and going back to a few of their friends and being like, you have to try this. One thing that we also try to tell people is that the food is a byproduct of what we are trying to do. We are not here to be a restaurant, right? but it's people experiencing exactly where things are growing. They can see and... Uh, like from there exactly, to there. And how it grows. <laughs> so we teach them exactly all, some tips about animals and how you can raise some of the animals and and then after when they sit down to have their meal. How to show respect to the and final product. Absolutely. Uh, like really concentrate on less waste. Yeah. Our food philosophy is really simple. Wholesome, healthy and sustainable. Um, fresh is best. When we can't source it here or we can't grow it here, we source it from just a really like-minded company right. or another yeah. like-minded business. Ideally really locally, yeah. if, if we can't do it locally, we, we look for just a really high quality product. Whenever we deal with seafood, obviously we don't, we're not very close to an ocean, but we always try and make ocean-wise choices um, and, and promote that sort of stuff. So mm -hmm. things that fall under either ocean-wise or MSC regulations. Mm -hmm. um, always choose line cod over, over you know, big dragging nets on the ocean yep. floor. Um, and, and teaching people like why certain products cost more and right. why you should be happy to pay a little bit more yeah. for certain things. Yeah. Everything has a cost and everything has an impact. Like a big part of what we teach here at Little John Farm through our instructional services is the process that goes into producing food and understanding what makes a processed food. And I'm a little bit concerned in, in seeing some of the food fads that are coming out. I love the plant-based thing. We, we eat so many vegetables. We produce beautiful vegetables. We love them. Mm -hmm. But if you need to be a plant-based eater, just eat vegetables. Eat plants. Eat, eat whole <laughs> grains. Yeah vegetables you know a small handful of nuts beans like you can come up with a really wholesome diet absolutely without, uh, without having to process it right. so much pig pig pigs come on pigs <laughs> aren't they so cute so what we really concentrate on here um is the pigs eat the best diet lots of exercise they're outside all the time Lots of myoglobin in the muscles, uh, which produces a kind of a darker meat. So myoglobin would be the difference between white meat and dark meat on a chicken. Yep. Um, so we, we found that by getting them outside, getting them lots of exercise, it, it just completely changes their product. So um, it kind of, in this case, it kind of goes back to the nature versus nurture argument. Where, um, you can take the same pig that would spend its entire life in a barn, never see the light of day, only eat, eat grain and we put it in an environment where you be outside all the time, exercising and foraging. Thanks for uh, showing us around today. It was really lovely and sharing your knowledge and expertise with us. And uh, I'm sure everybody's gonna get a kick out of walking around in here. And uh, I can't wait to see what dish we're gonna make with the, uh, with the food. Excellent. So, mm -hmm. Flora, are you ready? Yes, I think she's ready. Yeah. Awesome. You like pizza? Yeah. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah.